the Doppler effect has many real-world applications and it's important to have an understanding of what these are and how the Doppler effect applies. So the first one is in a blood flow meter in the medical world where the Doppler effect can be used to determine the speed and strength at which blood is flowing. The second is similar in that it can be used to measure the heartbeat of a fetus. Other applications we know radar speed trapping where essentially waves are bounced off an oncoming or moving away vehicle and the frequency at which those waves can be or the waves return to the device can be used to determine the speed at which that vehicle is traveling. The third one is or the more common one is astronomy where we will often talk about red shifts and blue shifts. Now we know that the colors or the colors of the rainbow as we know them or the color spectrum is arranged uh, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red and we say that's in order of increasing wavelength or it can also be in order of decreasing frequency basically saying that violet light has the shortest wavelength and red light has the greatest wavelength. So when we say that light has been red shifted what we are saying is that red shifted light has been shifted towards the red end of the spectrum meaning that the wavelength has increased. As the wavelength increases, the light tends towards the red side of the spectrum and the light appears to be more red. Now what that tells us is that increasing wavelength tells us that the frequency has decreased as that wavelength increases and we know that that happens when two objects are moving apart. So when we look at a distant star and we see that that light appears to be red shifted, we can then say that those two objects must be moving apart, which is why the Doppler effect is used as part of a proof for an expanding universe because all the light that we see from stars appears to be red shifted, which implies that the wavelength has gotten longer, which implies that the distance between those two objects has increased in the time it took the light to reach us. The opposite of a red shift would then be a blue shift, which is then obviously just what happens when two objects move closer together. As they move closer together, the wavelength decreases, therefore the frequency increases, and along with that we say that the light becomes more blue, and then you can say that sources and observers where there is a blue shift present you can then say that those objects are moving towards each other. So we use the red shift to know that two objects are moving away from each other or apart from each other and a blue shift to know that objects are moving toward each other. What this also shows us is that the Doppler effect does not only apply to sound waves but applies to all types of waves and that includes the electromagnetic spectrum.